Welcome back uh, everyone, my name is Nikita, this is the Hockey Nation, in today's video I'm ready to talk about a topic that I saw on Twitter tonight and uh, man that kind of really pissed me off. First off, you know, I'm not really a Leafs fan but I did wanted to get this uh, video out there. By the way, I'm sporting the Sydney Crosby Pittsburgh Penguins jersey so if you're wondering what jersey that is, I already mentioned it to you. So with that out of the way, I wanted to talk about Andreas Janssen and him rejecting contract offers from the Maple Leafs. Now it's not only one contract offer, apparently it was two and it was one of the sports net insiders reporting on that. I believe it was Johnson, his last name was the one that was reporting on it uh, or maybe it was uh, one of the other guys but you know you guys get the point it's one of the insiders that reported on it and I th I'm, I'm really pissed about it because here's the thing Apparently the prices that were thrown out there, you guys are going to hear them in a second, but the prices range that they threw at him, at Andreas Janssen for the point, for the points that he put up, for the goals that he put up this season, in his rookie season, just blew me away. First off, we are in the salary cap era where the cap is going up and he has to understand that the cap is going to go up even higher this offseason. It's, it's projected to go up to $83 million. Now. Um, what I wanted to get to is the prices so apparently they offered him two contract offers that he declined the first one was a two-year offer which was a short-term one for 2.1 million dollars on average the second one was for four years at 2.6 million dollars can you please tell me how you're gonna sign a guy for four years with only increasing average annual salary to buy 500k how does that make sense in your mind Kyle Dubas the whole management I don't understand Second off, the price for Andreas Janssen is low because if you look at the market, you look at the 20 goal scorers, 40 point guys that are getting paid, you're going to understand the huge difference. For example, remember Jay Gensel a couple years ago or maybe even just last season, he scored 20 goals. He was on pace to still get 3 to $4 million at minimum this offseason. And if he hadn't had this breakout season, he would at least get 3 to $3.5 million. Let's say he put up... I don't know 60 points 25 30 goals that is not that far off from what Andreas Janssen is putting up with superstar talent and if he's getting uh, I believe it's five to six million dollars don't exactly remember but if that's five to six million dollars for a player that only had one great outstanding season and the rest of them were very good seasons but not as impressive as it was this season how come can you tell me that you can offer a guy four years at 2.6 with only increasing it from 2.1 to 2.6 it just does not make any sense to me i thought that they were going to offer like say probably three million dollars at minimum because if you look at what he did this season it was not expected he kind of blew my expectations for himself because Andreas johnson was a guy that i knew he was a pretty solid young player in his own right but I didn't know that he had this potential to actually play with superstar talent on a team like Toronto and actually put up some solid totals for what could have been a bargain, you know, uh, coming into the season. And it is a huge bargain now. And uh, the prices that have been thrown around apparently by the Toronto Maple Leafs have just been insane. I don't understand where they're coming up with that from. I mean, have they looked at the market? Have they seen how many 20 goal scores are going to get paid this offseason? Have they looked at some of the guys like Granson who are about to get paid millions and millions of dollars in the offseason? And you're just going to say, okay, well, here you go. Here's 2.1 for two years. And uh, I think you should be good. I think you should take that money. I think it's fine. In my personal opinion, it's not. That's why I'm kind of ranting about it. And I know I'm not a Leafs fan. I don't know a lot about the team. Obviously, I don't know everything. But I know most of the things about the team. So to me, that's, this really comes as a surprise. Because I thought Toronto was at least going to consider putting in some good faith, some good money into this guy. Because I think this guy's going to be a really solid player. At least a 30 goal scorer is what I'm seeing from other people's projections for him in his future career. And I, I see him as a future 30 goal scorer as well. I mean, if he was able to put up 20, what, 22, 23 goals this season, how can he not put up future 30, 35, possibly even a 40 goal plateau if that's even possible? I mean, if Getz was able to put up 40 goals coming straight from the AHL in 2017 in, uh, in just two years, then why can't Andreas Janssen do that with the talent that they have up front? I, I, I don't understand the thinking there, but you guys let me know down in the comment section anyways, especially Lee's fans, because 
I already made a video about the leaves. I don't want to make another video about them anymore. But this was a huge video that I wanted to get it out there. There's still that whole Marner saga. There's still that Jar Jay Gardner argument. It's going to continue until we find out what they are actually about to do in the offseason. And there's been some crazy rumors thrown around the last few days about Marner and all these other guys. I'm not going to discuss that because I've discussed it in that one video. You guys can go check it out. I posted it on my YouTube channel. Just click on my channel. You'll see it. It's, uh, it's uh, one of my videos that I posted in the last couple of days. And I suggest you guys check it out for more things that I said in that video. Uh, but thank you for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos on this channel. And again, let me know what you feel about this situation. Do you think Andreas Janssen should be offered a lot more money than he was offered in first place? Is, uh, what is the miscommunication there? Why are the Leafs trying to lowball him uh, to such a contract? You know, And uh, are they try just trying to go for a hometown discount? I mean, the guy is Swedish, so there's no point of throwing... Uh, this the whole the store the whole thing of okay stay home for the home discount just does not make any sense to me But you guys let me know and I'll catch you guys soon